Hello and welcome to a very simple yoga class you can do in bed. We're going to get right into this one. We'll start seated. Close down your eyes. You can sit however you want. Just make sure you have a nice tall spine. Shoulders are drawing away from your ears. Start by just closing down your eyes. Resting here for a moment, not making any changes. Just noticing where you're starting out today. Where's your mind at? Are you dealing with a very busy mind today? If there's any racing thoughts, just think of drawing your awareness to that single fixed point between your eyes. If it's a challenge to do this, know you're not alone. Grounding down, preparing ourselves for a very restful, peaceful night's sleep. Now inviting focused attention, breathing in. Breathe in, expand your stomach, let it balloon out. Who cares what it looks like? And exhale it out, pressing out all that old air. Inhale, fill up. Extra sip at the top, even if it's tiny, tiny. When you're ready, exhale, let it go. Last one together. Inhale, fill up your stomach. Extra sip at the top and hold it. When you can't hold it anymore, Exhale, letting it go with an audible sigh. Trill your lips, shake your hands, inviting that shaking movement. Top part of your body swinging back and forth. You can roll your shoulders back and forth, making them big or small. Letting go of that old energy. Beautiful. Taking some seated cat cows, palms to your knees. You're welcome to keep your eyes closed, neutral spine to begin, shoulders away from your ears, neutral pelvis, inhale, draw your shoulders back and down, chest lifts up, maybe you look up, exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin towards your chest, inhale, opening through your heart looking up exhale rounding belly button to spine once more shoulders away from your ears maybe you drop the neck back exhale tuck the chin push all the air out and back to a neutral spine send your left leg out to the side keep your right foot tucked into your groin area it's a good place to sit up on a pillow, especially if you have a particularly squishy bed, just so you're not sinking into your lower back. Now inhale up tall spine. We're going to fold towards our left side, only going as far as you need, micro bending in the knee, keeping your hips grounded, getting a nice deep side body stretch. You've been hunching over all day. You'll be really tight here. You don't need to go so deep. We're just winding down for bed. We're working our way from the tops of our bodies down, giving a little extra attention to the places you know we tend to skip, and that really need it, especially when we're hunched over electronics all day. You can extend your right arm high, reaching it towards the left. Stay open in your chest. One last breath. Beautiful. Come up to center. Okay, switching sides. Bring your left foot in. Right leg goes up to the side. 
When you're ready, sitting up nice and tall, inhaling. And exhale, fold to your right any amount. I'll usually land on my palm to begin and just see how I feel. Make sure I'm not hunching forward. Just notice how my back feels before even considering extending my palm out. Seeing how it feels to take hold of my foot. This is not a forward fold. So we should be nice and open here. You can look up to the sky if it feels okay while you extend your left arm up. Maybe extending it over to the right. Might be tighter on the side. I know I am. If you've extended your arm over to the right side and you notice your hips are lifting off, just draw it back a little bit. It's okay if you can't go as deep on this side or vice versa. We are not symmetrical, so you just want to make sure you're taking and prioritizing your form over what this looks like. A few more breaths. And we are slowly back to center. Beautiful. Bring your right foot in. Soles of your left and right foot meet. Creating a diamond-like shape with your legs. You can grab a pillow here. It's a great thing to fold forward onto. When you're ready, you can just fold naturally, not forcing yourself deeper here. If you're feeling really open and you do want to go deeper, you can take hold of your feet. You can tuck your forearms under your legs. Think of drawing your heart lower. You can relax your neck. Remember, we're not forcing ourselves deeper here, so we can have a little rounding in the spine as long as we're not actively pulling ourselves deeper with our palms. Take one big inhale here. Let it go. Beautiful. One last breath. Slowly make your way to a tall spine. Come to lay on your back. Where we will finish the remainder of this practice. This is one of my favorite stretches ever. Soles of your feet come to the bed. Cross your right leg over the left leg. Look to me if you need to. Now, feet come off of the bed. You can take hold of them if you can reach. You can take hold of your shins. Whatever you can latch onto, you're making a crisscross with your legs, drawing them towards you. You will feel this in your outer right thigh, all the way down to your IT band. It's really important for all of us. Stretch this out. Yeah, whether you sit all day or you're doing active strength training, a lot of us have tight IT bands. And that shows up as lower back pain and knee pain. So this one's really important. And it doesn't show up as often as it should in most classes. So if you're feeling pretty stiff here, it's normal. You gotta try and deep breathe through it. If you have any emotions coming up, that's pretty normal too. few more breaths. Beautiful. Bring your legs back down to neutral. Windshield, wipe the leg, let that go. And we'll go to the other side. Left leg crosses over the right, crisscross position. Feet lifting off the bed, taking hold of shins, knees, feet, whatever you can get a hold of, really. Keep your back grounded, shoulders grounded. You want to draw your left knee down with your right knee, 
breathing deeply, relax through your neck, head is heavy. You hold a lot of stress here. Hopefully you're feeling really good after we let this tension go. Almost ready for sleep. That's beautiful. One last breath. And gently release your feet back down. Windshield wipe the legs. Now our final pose, the best pose for a restful night's sleep, legs up a wall or waterfall. I do recommend using a wall if you have one available to you. So you want to get yourself relatively close to the wall. You don't need to be right up against it. So sending your legs up starting at a 90 degree angle and only sending them high when you're ready or keeping them there at that 90 degree. Beautiful stress reliever. Letting all that blood flow out of your feet. You can take your arms in a cactus, take them out wide, see what feels good. Let yourself melt here. We will use this pose as our final relaxation. Let yourself go. Notice if you're clenching anywhere. Completely relax. Let go of anything else that was going on today. You deserve a restful night's sleep. And for that yang part of the brain, I like to try and reason with it. I'm telling it that getting a restful night's sleep will only help me achieve the things I want to achieve or that we want to achieve more effectively that way too so it's good for every part of you Now please stay here in this pose if it's serving you for as long as you like. If you'd like to end with Shavasana where you can drift to sleep really slowly. Bring your feet down to a 90 degree angle. Moving very slow intentionally. Bring them back to the bed. Depending on where you are, you can flip yourself around like me. Legs out long, arms at your side. I will say good night to you now. Have a restful sleep. Affirm that you'll be waking up with so much energy and you will have the most peaceful day tomorrow because of this time you took for yourself here. Sweet dreams.